Mina, Ohio Gazai Mess, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Yep, it's morning time at this particular recording time. It's one of those weird times for me again. <laughs> when do I do things in the morning? It's so unusual. Coming at you with more Psalm 65 and going to be reading a little bit of this right now. So let me just hop right into it. Going to start in verse 5 and read to the end of Psalm 65. Let's go. By awesome deeds and righteousness, you will answer us, O God of our salvation. You who are the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of the far off seas, who established the mountains by his strength, being clothed with power, you who still the noise of the seas, the noise of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. They also who dwell in the farthest parts are afraid of your signs. You make the outgoings of the morning and evening rejoice. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide their grain, for so you have prepared it. You water its ridges abundantly. You settle its furrows. You make it soft with showers. You bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, and your paths drip with abundance. They drop on the pastures of the wilderness, and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are clothed with flocks. The valleys also are covered with grain. They shout for joy. They also sing. This is something that Paul talks about a little bit in Romans chapter 1. By all means, look behind me. Feel free to confirm this. But looking at nature, looking at the creation, to see the glory of God in it. When I go outside and I look up and I just I see the sky, I see the trees, I look at the ground, I see the dirt and the rocks under my feet, and I think about the complexity of the systems that exist just in this world, much less outside of this world in the galaxy, solar system, and universe. I see the design, I see the intricacy, I see the beauty of all these things. Yes, there are definitely mistakes and there are Mars in the land. There are definitely imperfections. I won't deny that. It even talks about God cursing the ground for our sake back when Adam and Eve sinned. So there are imperfections in this world. It doesn't look perfect. But to see the things that are still left that are good, that are beautiful, to see the order that is intrinsically woven in everything, I fail to see how you can't find a source somewhere behind all of that. To think all of that happened by mistake or by accident or just through enough passage of time, through enough millions and billions of years, yes, I am pointing at you, evolution, to say that there is a purely naturalistic cause, to say that it's just the eternity of matter, it was just the Big Bang, to say it was just that, and there was no orchestrator behind all of this, no planner, no designer, I think that's ludicrous. I think that's absolutely insane. I've never seen time do anything but wear stuff down and order plunge into chaos. And I have certainly never seen an explosion create anything in my life. Usually explosions destroy things. They put things into disarray. They create chaos. They do not create order and intricate design, much less the things necessary for life as we know it to go on in this world. Now I know some Christians out there believe in evolution. And while I don't think that's fine, for the sake of this video, I know not everyone's going to agree with me on that, for the sake of this video, I'll say fine. But the Christians, you guys acknowledge that God is the originator of all things. You disagree with me on how he designed it, but you agree with me that he designed it. To anyone out there who's an atheist or an agnostic, who says that, you know, matters just always existed, there was no design, no pattern whatsoever, just kind of worked itself out, um, I call bullcrap on that. The level of beauty and intricacy in creation, just in the human body itself, much less looking at the other op the operating systems. I'm such a nerd. But the, the, the operating systems in this world, and then the operating systems in the greater scheme of things in this universe, I cannot see how all of that just came to be through pure accident or coincidence. When I look outside, I see the glory of God, and I see the loving hand of a creator. And I would argue very strongly that you look at what is outside, you look at what's going on on the earth, yeah, there are problems, yeah, there are some errors and faults, but my gosh, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of beauty out there as well. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.